There has been a significant and successful expansion of computer vision research in recent years. Much of this success can be attributed to the adoption and the adaption of machine learning. While others can be attributed to the invention of innovative representation and models for specific computer vision issues. Object detection is the one area that has made significant improvement. Hello everyone, I am Mayank and welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will take you through a hands off lab demo of how to do object detection using OpenCV. For amazing videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated. So, in today's session, we will discuss what OpenCV is and moving ahead, we will see what is object detection and at the end, we will do a hands off live demo of object detection using OpenCV. In fact, study says there will be more than 2.3 billion job openings in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning by 2023. But you can beat the curve with a professional certificate program in AI and machine learning co-sponsored by Purdue University and IBM, which is designed after simply an intense bootcamp learning model, AI and ML certification course. This course covers tools and techniques like Python, TensorFlow, Keras, NLTK and many more, along with industry projects like social media by Twitter, delivery service provider by Zomato, transportation service provider by Uber, and many more amazing projects. So choosing this course, you can get hired on renowned companies like Google, Amazon, LinkedIn, and Adobe, and an average salary hike of 70%. So what are you waiting for? Join the AI and ML certificate program and excel your career in artificial intelligence. The link is in the description box below. Before starting, let us have a simple question to brush up your knowledge. So OpenCV stored RGB pixels in what order? GBR, RGB, BGR, and BRG. Please answer in the comment section below and we will update the current answer in the pinned comment. Or you can pause the video, give it a thought and answer in the comment section. Before we move on to the programming part, let's discuss what OpenCV is and proceed further for the same. OpenCV, Open Source Computer Vision Library is an open source computer vision and machine learning software library. It is written in C++ but has a binding for various programming languages such as Python, Java, MATLAB. OpenCV was designed with the goal of providing a common infrastructure for computer vision applications and to accelerate the use of machine learning perception in commercial product. OpenCV is widely used in a variety of industries, including robotics, automotive, and healthcare. It's supported by a large community of developers, researchers, and users who contribute to its development and provide support to its users. It is supported by a large community of developers, researchers, and users who contribute to its development and provide support to its users. So now let's see what is object detection. Object detection is a computer vision technology that involves identifying and localizing the object of interest within an image or a video. It is a challenging task as it involves not only recognizing the presence of an object, but also detecting its precise location and size within the image or video. Object detection algorithm typically used deep learning techniques such as CNN to analyze the image or video for identifying the objects. These algorithms can also determine the boundaries of the object by drawing a bounding box around them. So after understanding what is object detection, now let's move on to the programming part. So this is a kernel, Python kernel. Here we will change this name. So here I will write object detection demo. Okay. So so first we will import some major library like OpenCV. So for that we will write import CV2 and the next one is import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So why we are writing plt because we can't write again and again matplotlib dot pyplot. Okay, it's a long one, so we can write a short form plt. So yeah, so let's run this. So what is OpenCV? OpenCV is an open source software library for computer vision and machine learning. The OpenCV full form is open source computer vision library. It was created to provide a shared infrastructure for application for computer vision and to speed up the use of machine learning perception in consumer products. OpenCV as a BSD license software make it simple for companies to use and change the code. Okay, so there are some predefined packages and libraries that make our life simple and OpenCV is one of them. Second one is Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a easy to use and an amazing visualize library in Python. It is built on NumPy array and designed to work with broader SciPy stack 
and consist of several plots like line, bar, scatter, histogram, and many others. Okay, so moving forward, we will import our file. Okay, so here I will write config file equals to this is our file name ssd underscore mobile net v3 large coco 22 14 dot pb okay so you can find this file on the description box below frozen model question so i will explain you every single thing inference graph dot pb okay so let me run it first mobile net as a name applied the mobile net model is designed to use in mobile application and its tensorflow first mobile computer vision model mobile net use depth wise separable convolutions it significantly reduces the numbers of parameter when compared to the network with regular convolutions with the same depth in the nets this result in the lightweight of the deep neural network so mobile net is a class of cnn that was open sourced by google and therefore uh, this gives us an excellent starting point for training our classifiers that are insanely small and insanely fast okay so what is this large coco this is a data set coco data set like with applications such as object detection segmentation and captioning the coco data set is widely understood by the state of the art of neural network its versatility and the multi-purpose scene variations serve best to train a computer vision model and benchmark its performance okay so what is coco the common object in context is one of the most popular large scale label images data set available for public use it represents a handful of objects we encounter on a daily basis and contains image annotations in 80 categories. I will show you the categories I have with over 1.5 million object instances. Okay, so modern day AI driven solution are still not capable of producing absolute accuracy and result, which comes down to the fact that Coco dataset is a major benchmark for CV to train, test, and polish refine models for faster scaling of the annotation pipeline. On the top of that, the COCO dataset is a supplement to transfer learning where the data used for one model serves as a starting point for the another. So what is frozen inference graph? Like freezing is the process to identify and save all the required graphs like weights and many others in a single file that you can easily use. A typical TensorFlow model contains four files and this com contains a complete graph. Okay, so forward, let's create one model. Here I will write model first two cv2 dot dnn model frozen model and then config file so here i am giving the parameters two parameters like frozen model and config file so let's go here yeah we run it first okay there is error return error Okay, so error is cv2.dnn detection model return as result with an exception set. The question comes what is the meaning of detection model or DNN detection model? So, this class represents a high level API for object detection networks. Detection models allow to set parameters for pre processing input image. Detection model creates net from file and with trained weights and config, sets its processing input, runs forward pass, and returns the result detection okay moving forward let's set the class labels okay class labels i name also labels dot txt so i will put this file on the description box below you can download from there open file name Class labels. Strip.
so here i created one array of name class labels so this is the file name what i am doing i am putting this label file into this class label okay so here if i will print class labels so these are the 80 categories in the coco data set okay this person bicycle car motorbike airplane bus train these all are the 80 categories i will put this file label.txt in the description box below you can download from there okay fine so let's print the length of the coco data set or you can see class labels is 80 as you can see i have already told you the length will be 80 so here let's set this some model input size scaling mean and all so i will write here model dot set input size c20 comma c20 model dot set input scale 1.0 slash 127.5 okay i will explain you don't worry model dot set set input mean 127.5 comma 127.5 comma 127.5 okay and then model dot set input grab b will be so what is set input size okay so set input size is a size of new frame the shape of the new blob less than zero okay so this is the size of the new frame the second one is set input scale so set input scale is a scale factor of the value for the frame or you can say the parameter will be the multiplier of the frame values or you can say multiplier for the frame values okay so set input mean so it set the mean value for the frame the frame in which the photo will come the video will come or my webcam will come so it set the mean value for the frame or the four parameters mean is killer with the mean values which are subtracted from the channels you can say and the last one is set input swap rb so it set the flag swap rb for the every frame we don't have to put every time a single frame for a particular image it will be set the true for the all the images okay so parameters will be swap rb flag which indicates the swap first and the last channels so moving forward we will import one image i am read boy dot jpg dot i am show So this is the size of 320 by 320. Okay. So first thing is you can download this the random picture from the Google. I took from Google itself. So now what we will do, we will set the class index, the confidence value, confidence value. The B box. B box is the boundary box which I will create for that particular person, cycle, motorbike, and the car. Okay. B box equals to model. Get the confidence threshold. Threshold is used for if my model will confirm its. The particular image which is detecting is correct it will print the name okay so let me print print 
बस क्लास इंडेक्स इज कमिंग वन टू थ्री फोर ओके सो वन मीन्स पर्सन टू मीन्स बाईसाइकल थ्री मीन्स कार एंड फोर मीन्स मोटर बाइक दिस इज द क्लास इंडेक्स इंडेक्स फॉर पर्टिकुलर लेबल आई विल डू आई विल प्रिंट द बॉक्स इज ऑन्ट स्केल इक्वल्स टू थ्री एंड द फॉन्ट इक्वल्स टू सी वी टू डॉट फॉन्ट हर शे प्लेन और क्लास इंडेक्स एंड कॉन्फिडेंस एंड बॉक्सेस एंड इंडेक्स डॉट पैटर्न कॉन्फिडेंस pattern box the boundary box okay then i will write here cv2 dot rectangle to make the rectangle set the image and the boxes if comma 0 comma 0 This is the color of the box, and this will be the thickness. Okay. Then I will write CV two dot put text image then class labels. I will write class index minus one because always index start with zero. That's fine. And the box is zero. Then, comma boxes one body. Okay. Font comma scale. So, font scale scale color. First, this will be the text color. Zero comma two fifty five comma zero, and the thickness. Three. Let me run it. Ah, uh, no error. Okay, now plt dot. I am show. Then cv two dot cvt color. Then comma cvt two dot color color. Then BGRG. That is why we wrote swap R B equals to true because every time we will convert BGR to BRG. Sorry, G B R G B. So we don't have to write again and again. It will convert all the files into R G B. Okay, run it. Okay, as you can see, the motorbike is coming, bicycle is coming, the person is coming, the car will come, the car is coming. Okay, so it's detecting the right for the image. Now we will do this for the video and for the webcam. We are done with this image one, and then now I will write here. Okay, so this is we'll do for the video. For the video, I will write here cap equals to capture. You can write any name. So cv two dot video capture. 
so you can take any random video i took this pexels george you can comment down share the link App dot is open. So here I will write cap equals to CV two. Sorry, CV two dot video capture view. And if not cap dot is open then then raise output error and open the video And open the video here everything will be the same font scale equals to 3 okay font equals to cv2 dot font arche in okay so here i will write while true comma frame equals to cap dot sheet this is for the reading of the file the same i will write class index comma confidence comma boundary box equals to model dot detect frame and the confidence threshold equals to 0 0.55 okay everything is the same we did before so here i will print class index okay so here i will write if and the class index does not equals to zero then what to perform is here after add for class index comma confidence comma boxes in zip class x dot flatten flatten is a layers okay confidence dot flatten e box and if class index is greater than equals to 80 then what to do then i will copy from here okay the same thing i have to write here So here I will write cv2 dot I am sure this will be the data in the frame object detection by simply learn and 
फ्रेम तो इफ सी वी टू डॉट वेट की टू एंड जीरो मतलब एफ एफ एक्स क्वेश्चो ओ आर डी क्यू ओके देन here i will write break will you break when it gets into 2 the weight key will be 2 okay i will tell you what is the weight key so here i will write cap dot release and cv2 dot destroy all windows okay so now let me run let's see error there will be error okay see we python programming language modules let me run it again is it adivet keys okay video is here the video is here as you can see see bicycle the person the person the bus car traffic light the person person so it our object detection for the video is coming right okay person okay person traffic light bus so this is how you can do for the video okay So now let's we will do for the uh, webcam live. So this is for the video. So if we want to do for the webcam, we okay. So we need to just change one one thing only. We have to change instead of giving the file, we have to write one here. Okay, the rest will be the same. Got it. So I have to just shut down my cam webcam. So let me shut down the webcam and get back to you. So as you can see, this is the three twenty by three twenty box. So. so this is coming right okay so i if i will show this the mobile phone is coming right now okay so this is how you can do the correct object detection okay so if you enjoyed this video and if you want this full code how to do so you can comment for the same okay if you want this full code you can comment for the same if you want code and if you have any query related to python machine learning you can comment for the same so If you enjoyed this video please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any update from Simply Learn till then thank you and keep learning Hi there if you like this video subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here